Okay, let's look at changing sprites to make it look like the character is moving in our platformer example. Okay, so first you need to make all of the running and jumping animations. I'm just going to do a quick little so running. So this is making sprite 3 yeah. for our game. And we're creating a set of images that are part of sprite. Three, and that we will animate and create the illusion of the movement. So you're doing different arms and legs. Yeah. And the more frames you do, obviously, the better it will look. Okay, so now you're going to um, right click on that and click duplicate and edit, transform, mirror horizontal. Okay, so that's where we're going the other way. Right? Yeah. And you're going to make another one for jumping. And we're gonna do same thing. Mirror horizontal. Okay. Yeah. And now you're gonna have to make a few changes to your object. First, in the step event, uh, you're gonna go to control. This is the main game character object yeah. in, in our platform. And you're gonna go to control and check if an expression. Expression is true. Um, you're just going to uh, copy this. And um, what this does is check for if um, the player is in the air. Right. If the player is in the air, you're going to go to um, this. And um, actually, First, we're going to need to create a variable called um, VIR. That's going to be the direction that the character is facing. Okay. One is going to be right and zero is going to be left. So, in the left, we're going to set it to zero. And in the right, we're going to set it to one. That's just going to let us know what sprite to change it to. So, depending on the state of that variable, that will control the sprite we show whether we're going left or right. Yeah. So, now um, we're going to check if VRR is equal to zero. If it is, then change the sprite to our jumping left. And um, if it's equal to one, then change it to our jumping right. So um, now I'm going to do this left and um, change it. You're going to make the sub image image index. That's going to make it so that. It actually runs through the, the frames and not just um, stop at one frame. And this, you're going to lower the speed to 0 0.5. I think it just makes it a nicer look. And you're going to choose your um, running left sprite. Okay. And um, you're also going to check if you're on the ground because you can't really run in the air. So, you're going to do the same thing that you did in the other one, except you're going to click not. So, that's going to check if you're on the ground. So, it's going to look something like that. Then... Just explain for us, place free x, y, plus one, which you had there, how does that test the 
where on the ground? Um, it checks if um the pixel. Yeah, it checks if the pixel one pixel below our character uh has a collision or not. Okay, what's that? Yeah. Okay. So you can just copy those and paste into there and make sure you do um change the sprite to your running right. Okay. And um yeah. So let's see if that works. So he runs. Yep, but he doesn't stop running and he jumps, but he doesn't really land. So we're gonna fix both of those. Um and the collision with the floor. You're going to put uh change the sprite to standing. Okay. And um you're gonna put release left change sprite to standing yes. and you're going to duplicate that event in release right so that should there he's standing yep stops standing okay when we land we get normal behavior so it looks like we've got a real character that is certainly energetically running when he jumps he just sort of does the Mega Man glide or the Mario glide? But that's okay. Yeah. And then when he lands, he lands. So that pretty much concludes our part two tutorial for the platform.